Welcome to Alcast Driving Academy. In this video, we will perform an air brake inspection on a class 3 vehicle. Secure the truck by pulling the yellow button out and block the wheels. First test is to check our yellow button or park control valve. For that, the pressure must be above 90 psi. Truck off and key on position. Push yellow button in and yellow button will pop out at 45 to 20 psi. For that, we will fan our foot brakes. Low pressure warning will come on at 60 psi. Continue to fan foot brakes until the yellow button pops out. Now the yellow button pop out, that means our part control valve is working fine. Next test is to check our compressor build up time. For that, we will start the truck. The compressor build up time is 50 to 90 psi within 3 minutes at 1200 rpms. Now our pressure is at 50 psi and we will start to note the time. The time is at 722. Now we can confirm that the low pressure warning is off at 60 psi. So we will hold our RPM at 1200 and wait for the pressure to come to 90 psi. Now our pressure is at 90 psi and it has done that in 1 minute. So we can confirm that the compressor is working fine. Our next test is to check the governor cutout. The governor cuts out at 120 to 135 psi at 1200 rpm and we will wait for the sneeze. Now that we have heard the sneeze, it confirms that the governor cutout is working fine. Next, check the governor cut in. Governor cuts in at 20-25 psi below the cutout. For that, we'll push the yellow button in and drop our air pressure by pumping the brakes. Once the air pressure is at around 90 psi, we will bring our RPM to 1200 and we will check if the gauges are moving up. If the gauges are moving up, it confirms that the governor cutting is working fine. We will do the governor cutout again to make full pressure. For that again, bring the RPM to 1200 and the governor will cut out at 120 to 135 psi and we will wait for the sneeze. Next, we will perform the service leak test. For service leak test, we will turn the truck off and put the key on position. We will hold the service brakes for two minutes and the air pressure should not leak more than four psi we will push and hold the brake and we will note the time it has been two minutes now we confirm that there is no leaks and this confirmed that the service leak test has been passed next we will adjust our automatic slack adjusters to adjust the automatic slack adjusters we'll push the brake two times for two seconds 1001 1002 Release it, push it again, 1001, 1002. Now our automatic slack adjusters are adjusted. Apply the brakes by pulling the yellow button out and remove the wheel blocks. Next, we'll perform service brake test. For that, we'll come inside the cab, move the truck about six feet and press the foot brakes. Trucks comes to a complete stop. Confirms brakes are working fine. This concludes the video. Thanks a lot for watching.